What's up everyone, Full Animix here. Underrated shows are a bit of a hidden gem in pretty much all seasons of anime. Whenever I find an underrated show and I find out that no one else is talking about it or has even watched it, I'm like, yes. I have found my diamond in a cave that everyone has searched multiple times. Something like that, I don't know. And for me, Radiant is one of these shows. Radiant has been severely underrated for a while now and I haven't really seen too many people talking about about it because it's underrated. And you may be asking why is Radiant underrated? Radiant is the first manfra to be adapted into an anime. A manfra is a French manga series because apparently they can't come up with anything else more interesting than that. Also the show's release was really undermined as Slime, Bunny Girl Senpai and Jojo's Golden Wind came out at the exact same time. What the fuck is up with this golden trio? And when season 2 came out, My Hero Academia season 4 and B stars came out at the same time. Let's just say Radiant was always in the shadow every single time it came out. Now it's obviously not the show's fault. These shows are way more bigger than Radiant as it's a small little ball in a big ball pit. I don't know where I'm going with this. Radiant is about a boy called Spiky Head Seth who has an ambitious goal of clearing the world of Nemesis, which apparently is the name of every single antagonist who isn't an actual person. Seth is a sorcerer, a group of people that can use magic called Fantisa. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it as it sounds like a ripoff soda drink. Along the way, he makes friends and enemies trying to find the nest of the nemesis, Radiant. Now I know this plot sounds pretty basic for some of you guys, a spiky head protagonist that wants to achieve an unrealistic goal. Wait. But as the show goes on, you start seeing the depth of this world. The world building is done really well as you spend a lot of time in these new places. Season 1 has pretty good pacing for the first half of the show where it doesn't take itself too seriously. Just normal training scenes and a broom race because the story must progress in a different and fun way. But then the show takes a more serious tone. Tone is something that a lot of shows tend to gloss over. More basic shows tend to set up the tone at the start of the show and continue through to the end. I'd say a good 50 to 40% of anime do this. The remaining percent tackle the challenge of a successful tonal shift. Most of the time it works, but sometimes it doesn't. With Radiant, it works pretty well. The show starts with themes of discrimination, people not accepting sorcerers as they are seen as cursed beings, which broadens to is it worth being a so-called hero if people call you out for your faults. In season 2 it explores that a lot more and you get this great character moment between Seth and Melly as their relationship becomes strained over this. Seth is a brash young anime character but he has a level of maturity that I don't see that much in anime. As I said before there's a scene where Seth and Melly's relationship becomes strained. Instead of a loud argument where emotions overtake the interaction, Seth and Melly's argument is calm but also a raw array of emotions at the same time. This scene is surprisingly powerful, despite the fact that they're talking in very calm voices. Also, as we're talking about this, Melly is an underrated waifu. She's cute. She's an airhead. She's level-headed. She has a traumatic childhood that results in her being isolated and extremely lonely until she finds friends that don't care about her curse and accepts her for who she is. Oh my god, is that all she has? No, because Melly has two personalities. Fun fact, I'm weak for that shit. Do you want to know why I watch Rosario 2 Vampire? Because you're a degenerate and you like high school DxD? Yes, but the main girl has a split personality, so there, I have a reason. That's not a good reason, bro. Coming from the guy who watches Riverdale, shut up. Hey. Betty's been through a lot, okay? Also, Grimm's voice actor is the guy who did Dio from JoJo, so that might change your mind about something as well. The animation is also very well done. You guys know that I don't really care about animation too much, but I just have to point it out here. For such a small show to have this great fight scenes and character design is pretty freaking cool. Radiant isn't a revolutionary anime. Some of you that have watched the show may think it's not that great and it's nothing groundbreaking in any way, which is totally fine. But I do think the show is very underrated for the realistic themes and characters that it has. Right now there's no confirmation of season 3 as when season 2 finished, it was pretty close to the Manfra. But I'm pretty sure there will be season 3 in the foreseeable future. And for the love of God, 
do not watch the dub of this show. I cringe every time I listen to Seth's voice in the dub. Like, uh... Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe down below, and I'll talk to you guys later.